Hello and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali and in today's video, we are going to see how to load the data for multiple columns in data management in PBCS application. So basically, data management enables you to load data for multiple dimension members of a selected dimension in a single row of data, which means, for example, if we have multiple products or entity and we want to load the data of it all together in a single file, we can do so by using data management. So the data file can be a text file with multi columns of numeric data with no headers to contiguous periods by executing a data load rule with start and end period. It can also be a data uh, text data file with multiple columns of numeric data to a period or any other dimension as a column header by specifying the following. Column header in the data file, column header member list in the import format and column header member in the data rule. The data file can be a Excel data file with multiple columns of numeric data to a period as a column header. The Excel file may or may not contain a header. So let me show you my data file first and then we'll move ahead. So this is my data file in which I have account, entity, version, and products. Products are from column number D to column number H, various products. So let's go to the application and start doing it. So this is the application. From here, we go to Navigator. We click on Data Management under Integration. Basically, the initial steps are all same, like registering your source system and target application, registering your source system it is same. By clicking on add, we register our source system. We click on add and add our source system. So we have various types of source system. Then we move to target application and then register it as well. All right, we click on add and we register the new target application. I've already registered it. My target application is AA underscore vision. Next, we move to import format. So we perform the most important steps in import format. The data load is successful or not, it all depends on our import format. So this is my import format, AA underscore IMF, in which I have given the file type as multi-column numeric data. Since we have the data for multiple products at various intersections, so the file type is multi-column numeric data, file source, source is file, and target is AA underscore vision, and file delimiter is comma. After doing this, and we are going to save this, and then we are going to map our dimensions. Like for account, I have given field number one, because in our data file, we have at column number one, we have account. Therefore, the field number is also one. Similarly, for other dimension members, in expression, we give here, we have given here four equal to four comma eight, because our data, in our data file lies from column number four to column number eight for these accounts, this entity and uh, version, all right? So therefore, for account, I have given four comma eight. Amount column starts from four, therefore I have given field number four. And in expressions, I have given the expression type as driver and driver is my product, okay? So click on add expression. In expression type, give driver as the expression type. So when you select this, it will ask for which dimension we are creating this. So give the dimension members since we are doing this for product. So give here product and all the members of that particular dimension. Provide the column number in which your data lies and then click on OK. Since I do not have this dimension employee 
in my data file. So I have mapped it with just another dimension member, column number two entity. So I've given here the field number two and uh, given here the hardcore mapping, no employee. For entity, it lies in column number two. So given the field number two, HSP view, I've also, since this member also does not exist in our data file. So I've mapped this with entity column number two and here given the hardcore mapping base data. For product, it is in field number four, okay? from field number four to field number eight. So in field number, I've given just four and under expression, I have given four comma eight fill. Okay, and similarly for version, it is in column number three. So after doing this step, we move to location and create the location for our data file. Again, the process is same for creating a location. We click on add and create the new location. So my location is AA underscore LOC. You provide the target, import format, and the name for it. Save this information and then move to category mapping. In category mapping, click on source mapping and provide here the category key and all the details by clicking on add. All right, next move to workflow for the data load mapping. So choose your correct location. This is the most important step. If we do not choose the correct location, our data will not get loaded. So choose your correct location. So I'm loading this data for FY22. So I'm going to change the period. The location is correct, but the period is not period is not correct. I'm loading it for January 21. Sorry. Okay. So I have given like mapping for all the dimension members. As we can check here, I've given like mapping to all. HSP view product and version. So once the data load mapping is done, we create data load rule. So again, we need to check the correct location and period. From here, we click on add and create the new data load rule. I have already created one in which the category is current. Import format I have chosen from here or this option. Target plan type is plan one. And in source option, in file name, from selecting this, we choose a file. We can upload file from here from our system. All right. Okay, so after doing, doing this, save your data and execute it. Okay, check on import from source and export to target. Start period, provide your start period and end period, provide your import mode. Once you check export to target, this export mode will get enabled and then you need to choose the replace data. Since I have already done this, I'm going to show you the result of the mapping process. We go to workbench and as you can see here, the three golden fishes are here and our data is successfully loaded. We can also check this in our smart view. So we have taken all the entities here. And since I have added another dimension member to your job and I have not provided that. That's why this is gray area. Otherwise, this would have been enabled, but we can see here all the amounts of all the products. These are the products which we have in our data file. All right. These are the alias name which are in our Excel sheet, smart view sheet. Okay. So this is how you can load the data for multi-column. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.